it went from blue skies to gray to black. And all we seen was embers from fire that we had no idea what was going on. There was no siren, nothing. And um, no evacuations, no signs, no sirens. That one time when there was a nuclear missile and they made like everyone get alerts. What happened to that? Where's that when you actually need it? It's a kind of disconcerting feeling when the fire guys show up and they don't have water. I was grabbing water out of the toilet. I was grabbing water out of my Brita filter in the refrigerator. The water shut off. Even the firemen that were patrolling couldn't refill their trucks. The fire just grew and the sparks started blowing over and, and it just beat us in the end. I don't know, you're standing there with a hose and there's nothing coming out and you see the fire coming over and you see parts of your house starting to take, starting to burn. We need help. What are we going to do? Set up tents on the beach? Set up tents at the, our job sites? Well, please help us, you know, we need help. There's, there's, there's nothing. I mean, there's, yesterday we wandered around, there's absolutely nothing. You know, local people have no food and uh, tourists need to leave, but they need to eat something until they can leave. There's hundreds, if like at least 600, if not thousands of people who are dead in the streets, in floating in the ocean. There's over 3,000 homes that have been burned to the ground. There's no help here on the ground. All it is is residents pulling together. My whole entire truck is full of supplies right now. Just residents going to the store, going to Walmart, going to Costco, buying as much as they can, driving it straight into Lahaina. I went there last night and there was a fire that started and we got so scared we weren't able to drop off all the supplies. But there was flames that we saw and we were like, we just have to get out of here. It's just, it's so awful. Got to this point where it's like, who are these people watching us? Do they even properly care for us? In 2022, the United States spent $766 billion building the strongest military in the world to protect our people. And we have one of the largest military bases in the United States at Pearl Harbor, not even 100 miles away. Where are the military personnel bringing the boats with supplies, helping people, medical supplies, medical care that people desperately need? cleaning up all the toxic debris, handing out masks, gloves for people so that they don't get poisoned after the fire. None of that is happening. It's the Hawaiian people that are having to step up and create shelters and give people housing and get supplies, purchasing supplies and bringing it out on boats. The United States government are criminals for the way they're handling the Maui fire situation right now and for their neglect of the Hawaiian people, their US citizens. And everybody needs to know about this.